Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be doing a plan with me for September. Uh, the theme is butterflies, as you can tell. So today we're going to be going through me doing the leaves and the first few pages of my bullet journal and then I'll be doing the monthly calendar as well as a weekly spread for you guys and I'll be showing you how I outline the butterflies, add in the details, and how I paint them. I'm very excited for this. I am really excited to start introducing more uh, bullet journal things on my channel. So grab your bullet journal, grab whatever supplies you think you'll need, and let's get into it. So my first butterfly in this bullet journal, I used acrylic paint and I really did not like how it turned out. I was not happy with it. So I went over it with a patch of watercolor paper. So I did a watercolor butterfly. I can show you guys how I do that in another video. But right now I'm just going over the leaves that I did around the butterfly just to tie in a botanical feel for this bullet journal theme because I can't just do uh, butterflies I have to add in some botanicals of course so I'm just going over the sketch that I did and then I'm going in doing some more finer details you do not have to do this I'm just a little extra when it comes to my leaves I like the added detail and the look that the line shading gives the leaves around the butterfly this is my content planner for september the same thing with the cover page as this page i'm just going over the outline of the sketch for the leaves that i did for the content planner i only do the days of the week so i did not include saturday or sunday for that content planner or that content calendar so i only have the dates for Monday through Friday and I think it's about five or six dots down and then I have seven dots in from the very edge for my little calendar down at the corner Here is a reference photo uh, that I used to sketch out these butterflies. I sometimes have a really hard time with perspective, so I do have to look up reference photos of real butterflies or already sketched butterflies on Pinterest, and that helps me look and see how the butterfly's wings are, how they're tilted, and all of the angles and such of that. So that's what I did for these butterflies. It took me a few tries to get it how I wanted. And then once I figured out the overall sketch of how I wanted the butterflies to look in each perspective, it was really easy to replicate that in this theme in my notebook. For painting the butterflies, I use watercolor and I did different shades of blue. I don't know the exact names of what colors I used or anything like that. For the top of the wings, I did a more watered down blue color and then for the wings closer to the body, I did a darker to kind of show a 
gradient of the color of the wings. For my habit tracker, I did similar boxes to what Plant-Based plant Bride does on her channel and I just outline what the calendar actually looks like so it's not a full square. I have two spaces in and start with Wednesday and then at the very bottom I end with Thursday. I am extremely excited for this mood tracker. I have done mood trackers before and I have never ever used them, but I found this mood tracker. I'll put a reference photo from Pinterest. I didn't copy it exactly. The wings are different, but the flowers at the body of the butterfly and then the wings are fairly similar. I thought it was a gorgeous, gorgeous mood tracker and I had to do it in you know, the flowers in my own style and such like that. But I love this mood tracker. I'm for sure going to be filling this in um, with blues, of course. But I love how this mood tracker turned out. And again, reference photo. It's amazing.
For the flowers, I'm really enjoying more muted colors when it comes to my pinks. So in my palette, I have several different pinks. Again, I have no idea what the colors are. This is a palette from Amazon, but I just chose a few different pinks and then added in a light brown to mute it. Onto the first weekly spread of September. Just doing basic rectangles for the days of the week. I have three on one side and two on the other. Nope, just getting three on the other and then a notes section. So I think for the squares down, I did 10 or 11 and then maybe eight or nine across. I'm not exactly sure. I really never ever count unless I want all the triangles to be exactly the same or I'm trying to fit a certain number on the page. Other than that, I kind of just draw a rectangle out, see if it looks good, and then I go from there. For next week's video, I am planning to do a intro to calligraphy video, and I'm really excited about that. I have been doing hand lettering, hand lettering for a long time. I'm not a professional by any means, but I would love to do a video and just show you guys how I learned how to do hand lettering and how easy it really can be to learn how to do calligraphy or hand lettering. So that video is coming next week, so be ready. <laughs> you guys enjoyed the september plan with me the next few bullet journal videos i do will be much better with the planning process and videos and editing and stuff like that 
Um, I also did not show you the quilt page because I was not happy with how it just looked all jumbled. Same with the uh, monthly calendar. Not a fan with how it does not look put together at all. So my habits page, the mood tracker, and the weekly spread I'm much more happy with. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know if you like it. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will be seeing you in the next video.